So I'm going to start up Google Chrome. And this is a fresh installation of Google Chrome. If I go to Google, nobody signed in. So I'm going to sign in as my teacher. So Miss Web Miss Webster is signing in. Now, I'm not going to say passwords yet. So Miss Webster signed in. If she wants to, she can go to Gmail, and she has her Gmail. Now Johnny wants to sign in. Johnny goes over to the G Suite with the J. He can click add another account. Sign in. And now Johnny is signed in and Miss Webster signed in. The problem is everything that Johnny's does shows up for Jenna's Google account. And everything that Jenna does shows up for Johnny's Google account. Things like history things like passwords, all of that gets all confabulated together and it could be a pretty big mess, especially if you're using a personal account and a school account and you wanna keep those as separate as possible. Well, how we can do that is by creating profiles in Google Chrome. Now, how we do that is we go up here and click on where it says J. Because I signed into Miss Webster first, she uh, shows up as the regular account. I want to sign her out. And actually, once we're on this screen, I'm going to remove both of those people because I don't want their stuff together. So I want to create a profile for Miss Webster. If I click on the avatar for your account, there's an add button down here. So I can type in Miss. Webster and Miss Webster likes monkeys so we're gonna create a monkey avatar for right now create a desktop shortcut that will add an icon to your desktop so you can easily jump right to Miss Webster's account so we're gonna turn that on add. now you notice I have the Miss Webster icon over here we're not syncing anything yet and we want to sync things because then if we go to a different machine or if something happens to our machine, all of our bookmarks, saved passwords, history, all of that's together. So I'm going to, I clicked on the sync this person. I'm going to sign in to Chrome. You see it says sign in to Chrome. And now turn on sync. Oh yes, I'm in. If you're using a school district account, you'll get another box saying your data is being or managed by your organization. Are you sure you want to do this? And say, yes, you do. I've already synced Miss Webster's accounts before and I changed the theme. So you notice it automatically changed my theme from that dark theme to this nice plain theme. So theme sync also. So Ms. Webster, si Webster is signed in. If I click on the avatar, she's signed in. Sync is on. Inside the window, I'm just at Google. There's no other account signed in. That's probably what you wanna do most of the time. Keep all of your accounts separate. So Johnny wants to use this machine. So Johnny is going to go click on the Google avatar and down here where it says at. We're going to hit add again. Johnny. And Johnny is more of a sushi kind of guy. Where was that? There it is. We're going to create an icon for Johnny. Okay, all right, a Chrome user? Yes, I am. I'm going to sign in with Johnny's. Out. Now you'll notice, oh, and, and turn on sync. Now you notice Johnny's account signed in. 
Ms. Webster's account signed in. If Ms. Webster goes to a website over here and reads this article, it shows up in her history. But good old Johnny here has no history because he hasn't done anything yet. So when you're signed in, Ms. Webster can now start saving passwords and none of her passwords will connect up to Johnny. She can install extensions. We'll add the create link extension. And you notice, yeah, why did, so let's pin that open so we can see it. Great link, I'll have another video about Great link later. It's a great extension because you can be on this website and say create a link and just copy that as an HTML format and you can be in a document then and paste that and it pastes it as a nice grabs the title of the page and pastes that as a link. It's really cool. But that's previews of coming attractions. Don't watch that. But the create link extensions is installed for Miss Webster. You can go to her history and it has the entitled document and that we went and visited that. But if you go to Johnny's account, he's not in there. So you can create, if I need to add another one, I could say add. Sign in as Mary here. Turn on sync. Now, Mary has the default theme like Johnny does. So we'll just change her theme. Eiffel Tower theme. Isn't that cool? And you notice it didn't change Johnny's theme or Miss Webster's theme. They're all the they're all separate. When I go to Mary's history, it just has her signing in and then going to look at that theme. So it's all pretty cool. Uh, when you lock, when you sign in, Google throws in this application launcher for Drive. You can enable it if you want. It's it's pretty cool. I don't use it very often, so I don't usually enable it. But that's what that exclamation point. See, it's showing up over here. That's what that exclamation point is doing. So look, we have three users logged in, Jenna, Mary, and Johnny. If I wanna get rid of any of those, I can click the manage persons and like this person too. That was just some default thing, gone. And even if I remove Mary, so this is the, the idea behind the syncing. I can go to another machine, sign in as Mary, the panda. And as soon as I sign into Chrome, it's going to ask me to sync, and it's going to grab my theme that was out there. Da 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 and it would set up everything just as I had it before. And I see it grabbed her bookmarks because I've been testing with these accounts before. So that's where these bookmarks came from. And you notice Johnny doesn't even have his bookmarks part of it all. Johnny and Miss Webster doesn't have any bookmarks, but Mary does. And those automatically sync. So if I was doing this on my home machine, 
I could have a profile specifically for school. I go to my school, sign in, everything the same, both places. It's like magic. It is very, very cool. Now, one downside to this. You notice I'm hopping between Mary, Johnny, and Miss Webster's profiles. If they had shared passwords, I would be able to do whatever they want with those shared passwords. So it doesn't offer you any security on the machine between the different profiles because you notice it's not asking me to sign into the other profile. The only way to do that is to add different accounts to the computer itself and I'll be doing a video on that later. That way you could separate if you have children, you could separate each person, all of their files, all of their profiles, everything between each person and secure your own account. So that's one downside. If you're sharing a machine and you signed in with these profiles in different windows, everybody will have access to each profile, which is probably not what you want to do.